So we're all born into a circle of family. And, uh, when you're young, that's all you know. It's, it's uh, your parents, your grandparents. And I know that, uh, that I feel special that they were my grandparents. You think they're all for, for one of a kind. They're always smiling, always happy. I'm Darren Haley, and I'm the son of, of Pat. Uh, and I know that uh, my brother and my cousins all share a lot of what, what I'll tell you here, which was anytime we went over to their house as kids, we knew the cookie jar was always full. We knew if she made homemade bread that we would get uh, fried bread, which is still one of my favorite things to eat. And we always knew that uh, we were there in the evening or in the afternoon that they wanted to play cards. Boy, they love playing cards. That was probably one of their favorite pastimes. Probably trumped only by one thing. That one thing was was talking about Minnesota or coming to Minnesota. So this was always home to them. And, uh, they, they always thought fondly of everybody from here, uh, coming back here, and the things that kept them going were thinking about the next trip back here. Uh, as a kid, I remember coming back here, uh, usually with a cousin or some of my brother, and we'd come back and, and spend time in the lakes and, and seeing where they grew up. That was very special. I think they really enjoyed sharing that uh, with us. And um, I'd say that was probably their, their favorite pastime was, was sharing their, their Minnesota experiences. And uh, as I grew older, right, I got married, had kids of my own, and my circle expanded. It was, it was not the circle I was born in, it's not the circle I had kind of chosen. And my wife and, and some of my kids have got to meet both Keith and Carol. They always welcomed us with a smile. And um, after some of those meetings, my wife would, would come to me and she'd say, you know, uh, it's pretty special. She goes, you may not know it, but uh, not everybody has that. And that's something that I try to remember. Uh, and something I don't realize when it was when it was my circle when I was a kid. Right? That's what I grew up with. But, uh, looking back at it now, you know, it was special. It was something that, that I will cherish. I think all of us, uh, my brother and my cousins, will, will remember is, is the cookie jar and the fried bread and the trips to Minnesota and playing cards. And uh, I know that not everybody gets that. And so I feel very fortunate to have spent that time with them. It chokes me up sometimes. My wife also taught me something else as, as time went on. And that's that uh, her comments, and this is kind of her words more than mine, she says, no. They're the only people that I've met that have unconditional love. And that's, uh, it's pretty special. So she, uh, she, my wife, which I think some of you will meet after, after the service, um, didn't have the same experience that I've had. And, uh, that makes me feel very fortunate. But her comments are that, that uh, when she'd leave their house or leave a conversation with them, that she <coughs> always felt that, that they had uh, a true love for her. No matter what, whether they did something wrong, did something right, um, that was who they were. They, they, uh, if you were with them, they had that love for you. That was pretty special. So, and the, uh, some of my kids got to see and hopefully they remember when they get older. I'm happy now that, that we've got the family here again and uh, we're able to share some of that with, with our kids. My brother's here with, with his child my kids here and sharing some of those experiences is pretty special. Uh, I truly miss them. Uh, 